Hi everyone, uh, today we're going to do an outside inspection based on the new rules that they have for our um, Southern California, for California area in terms of how to do the outside inspection. So for the outside inspection, we're going to start from the top. Based on, basically we're going to start from the top light, okay? And then top light and then we're going to have the, uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, headlights. And then from headlights and we're going to talk about the signal lights. And from signal lights and we're going to look on the bottom. So the wording that we're going to use is this. For top light, color is amber, clean, not broken or missing. Top light, color is amber, clean, not broken or missing. Headlights, high and low beams, clean, not broken or missing. Turn signals, left and right lights and four-way flash, clean not broken and then when we look on the bottom of the truck nothing hanging not leaking fuel or oil not leaning from side to side which may indicate suspension problem so they basically that's all we need to say and when we look on the bottom we want to make sure that we bend ourselves down and we look on the bottom and we check make sure there's no, nothing hanging no fluid uh, leaking or not leaning from side to side. As you can see, that would be the shock issue. Okay, all right, so once we did that, then we're gonna come on to the left side, and we're gonna make sure that we open it up completely, and then we come on the other side, and we do this in, and open it up as well. And once we open, uh, the proper way to open the hood, your feet needs to be on top of here, and then you gotta open with your two hands, pull it, and then hold it on the other side, okay, like that, okay? Hold like that, for safety, okay? So once we do that, then we come on this side. All right, so from the passenger side, we only got two things that we gotta talk about. One is the coolant, coolant tank, and then the hoses, okay? So basically, this will be your coolant tank, and then the hoses that we're gonna point out, okay? Any of the hoses, we're gonna gotta make sure we point and talk about it, okay, real quick. Okay, so coolant tank, what do we say? Boat tight, not crack or leak, leaks, open cap to fill fluid to maximum. Hoses, not cracked, worn or leaks. So in other words, we're looking at here, the cap is here and the hoses are here. You see that? Okay, so basically, basically so we, that's what we need to check make sure that it's not leaking, it's make sure it's both, uh, tight. If we need to fill it, we'll fill it in here, all right? So that's basically it. Now, in terms of the hoses, all hoses not dripping fluids around the engine. All airlines are not leaking any air. So basically what we're talking about, any of the hoses that we look at, let's say for these hoses here, this is more of fluid, and these are the air hoses, right? So if we're talking about this, then yeah, we're not leaking any air. These fluid for hoses for the uh, radiator, then that's, that's obviously, that's what be the liquid, okay? So once we say that, that's it. So we're already skipping the, uh, the uh, windshield uh, reservo reservoir. So we don't really need to say about that one. But if we do, then we talk about it here. Windshield, reserv uh, windshield washer uh, tank, and make sure that we fill it up. The cap is uh, secure and make sure that it doesn't leak any, same thing again. Uh, the, uh, the hoses, that make sure there's no leak, right? So make sure we fill, fill it up accordingly, okay? So from this side, then we're gonna come on to this side. So basically it's this, anything that is the tanks, anything that is has the hoses, any air hoses or any uh, fluid hoses, those things, that's what they are looking for. We can make sure that we talk about it, okay? All right, so here on this uh, passenger side then, uh, we're gonna talk about um, the coolant tank. Uh, no, not the coolant tank. No, I'm sorry, we're done already. Power steering tank, and then engine oil dipstick. So basically, just only these two things. This one, and then this one, okay? So the, the power steering tank, power steering tank. So again, what do we have? Boat tight, not cracks or leaks, no cracks or leaks, open cap to fill fluid to maximum. Hoses not cracked, worn or leaks. Okay, that would be the again, what we're talking about here. 
Make sure the cap is tight. Make sure the hose is. See, you see, you've got a hose on this side and those are hoses, hose on the bottom. You see that? So make sure the, uh, the hose is secure and tight, right? So make sure it's mounted and make sure there's no leak. So how do we know if it's where the level is at? Right here, maximum and minimum. Make sure your fluid is within this range here. Okay, and again, this is for your power steering, right? Power steering tank. Now, engine oil dipstick, no leaks. Check oil level by one, remove the oil stick and clean it. Two, reinsert the stick and pull out again. Three, check if the oil level is between minimum and maximum. Fill engine oil to maximum. So what does that mean? Basically is this, you don't have to remove it, you don't have to take it out, but they wanna know how do you check it. So this is how you check it. You're gonna pull it out, okay? Clean it, put it back in. So you need to have this uh, motion, right? Put it back in, pull it out again, check for minimum and maximum level, okay? So we gotta make sure we check it. That's how we check it. If it's minimum, below minimum, obviously we gotta add the oil, right? We add the oil, then we just again, you see on this side here, the cap, the cap here, that's the engine oil. That's where the engine oil at, adding the engine oil at for this, for this particular truck, okay? So again, that's where you take it out and check it, okay? All right. After this part, as you notice, is very simple now. They make it easy because we have to do the entire truck, okay? Now, so what I want you to memorize is this. You're gonna memorize SSBW. SSBW. First S, steering, okay? Steering, as you notice from the steering here, right? Driver's side steering, right? Steering, when it comes down, does it come down like this? or like this or like this obviously it comes down this way right so if it comes down this way as you notice then you come over here so the steering column comes all the way down and then so you got a here steering box okay so here we got the steering box power steering box and then the steering system okay so steering system we're going to talk about this right now steering box basically what we have here Boat tight, no leaks. That's it. Okay? And then hoses not cracked, worn, or leaks. Again, that's what we're looking at here. As you can see, there's hoses here, right? That's what you're looking at. The hose here for the power steering box. Okay? As you notice from the steering, power steering fluid reservoir, right? Uh, steering tank, right? It goes all the way down and it goes into the steering box. Okay? That's how it provides the oil. Uh, blew it into the uh, power steering box itself. Okay, now from here down, then you're talking about here pin and arm, castle nut and cutter pin, and you got a drag link. Okay, and then your knuckle on the end of it. So again, it goes down like that, and that's how you finish up. Okay, now again, steering box, pin and arm, drag link, and knuckles are not worn or cracked. So we need to say it individually, not all uh, grouped together. So how do we say it? Steering box, not, not worn or cracked. Pitman arm, not worn or cracked. Drag link, not worn or cracked. Knuckle, not worn or cracked. Okay, so basically we just say it like that, all right? Now, then castle nut, bolts, or color keys, not missing, okay? So that's all we have to say. So castle nut, castle nut, color key is this one right here, okay? And then you got bolts, right? Again, we got a bolts. So these are the components that we're looking at, okay? Again, castle nut, not missing, bolts, not missing color key not missing basically every component I recommend highly recommend to say it individually you cannot just say steering system because that's part of the point together okay but we need to uh, individually call them out okay joints and sockets are not worn or loose 
joints and socket pretty much we're talking about here you see over here that's where the joint together where they join together area you see the rubber here these are the joints okay again what do we say about the joints joints and sockets are not worn or loose all right so basically these two are the basic components for steering section so after you say that now we're going to go down to suspension section okay remember first s steering second s suspension third b for brake number four w for wheel okay so those four are the uh, the uh, um, parts to it okay suspension all right i'm going to read it first okay spring mount not cracked broken or missing any parts leaf spring not cracked broken or missing any parts not shifted shock absorber both tight not damaged or leaks leaking okay so basically those these three are it oh that's all we need to say okay again spring mount we're talking about here this is your spring mount okay leaf spring this is your leaf spring okay and then shock that's your shock these three that's it okay we don't need to talk about you bow and stuff that's not necessary anymore but these three are the items that we need to talk about okay uh now brake brake section all right brake section you've got a brake hose not leaking not cracked or worn brake drum no no brake contaminates such as grease or oil brake shoes no brake contaminates such as grease or oil that's it so brake hose, we're, what we're talking about is this is your brake hose. Okay, that's your brake hose. Brake hose, and then we uh, point inside for brake drum and brake pad. Okay, that's what is inside here. That's brake drum and brake pad right there. Those three items, and that's it. All right. Okay, so that's the brake. Now then we come down to the wheel, the wheel section, okay, which is here, the wheel section, all right? Wheel some section is very, very important, so we have to say, all the details okay so basically we've got tires i c d inflation condition depth okay inflate to manufacture specification and use tire gauge to check the pressure right condition no cuts or damage no bubbles or nails never recap okay but then the depth minimum for 30 second inch on the front tires okay and then that's it for in terms of infl uh, for the tire itself then valve stem present and reachable okay not missing cap and not, no leaks not damaged no damage or broken okay and then rim no cracks dents or damage no illegal wheel lug nuts all are present not missing Boat tight, no broken studs, no sign of rusty trail or shiny thread that may show looseness. Okay, so we're going to point out individually. Tires, obviously this is a tire. What are we looking at? Inflation. Inflation to the manufacturer specification. As you can see, you see here, it tells you what is the pressure, PSI. You see that 120 PSI? That's the maximum maximum PSI that you can put on the uh, for the cold when it's cold, right? It tells you exactly how many pressure that you can have on the uh, uh, on the on the tire. You see that it's got single and dual in terms of the uh, ranges. Okay, so that's what you need to go by based on the manufacturer specification in terms of the uh, pressure itself. That's for I. C for condition. Condition of the tire, what we're looking at is we're looking at the surface of the tire. So when we're doing, uh, when we're doing the exam, uh, uh, examining our tires, we want to check outside to see if there's any bubble or any nails or any, anything that is on it, right? So we've got to check and make sure we don't have any of that. Any nails or anything that is worn that would cause it to uh, eventually goes out. So that's what we're checking. See for condition. Now, it says here you cannot recap. And what does that mean by recap? Recap means it has to be original from the manufacturer. 
you cannot use this tire as a re, uh, refurbish. Okay, you said, how, how does these uh, tire refurbish? Well, basically is this. For the back tire, you allow recap. Okay, for the back tires, you allow recap. So, what, that, what does that mean? Meaning your tire itself, um, in the old days, as an example, in the old days, your tire uh, for the shoes, they basically take out your uh, bottom of your shoes and they put another layer on, the shoemaker. And they just put glue and put it on there. That's it. So, but then uh, that's doable uh, for the back tires. You're able to recap, okay, to save cost. Save cost ways, do the, uh, do the recap. In other words, they clean it up the surface and then they put another mount, glue it on and put it over it. That's how you do the recap, okay? So the back tire allow recap, but the front tire must be original. And what does that mean? Why does the uh, uh, back tire allow recap and front does not? Well, because back tire, if one of the tire goes out, you have another tire to withhold it. Until you pull, pull this side and stop and change the tire. But front tire, you cannot. If it goes out, you're done, right? So it's important that uh, the front tire must be original. And the front tire is four thir minimum 430 seconds. The back tire, 230 seconds. Allow, allow, okay? All right, okay. Valve stem, valve stem, then we're talking about this, okay? Make sure the cap is present. If it doesn't have it, we gotta make sure that we put one, right? So this one doesn't have it, we're gonna make sure that uh, we put a cap on there, okay? And then you got a rim, talking about rim. And then we talk about the lug nuts. Again, this is the, uh, these are all the lug nuts. We gotta make sure that we check them and make sure there's no uh, um, rusty uh, coming out, material coming out from it. If it's rusty coming out, then that means the lug nuts probably is loose. So we gotta make sure that we tighten it, okay? to make sure it's secure, all right? Or if it's pointing, as you, as you notice, no sign of rusty or shiny. As you can, all are present, and then the bolt nuts are both. I make sure there's no shiny threads. I may, uh, may not show the looseness, okay? That's basically it, okay? The lug nuts, all right? And then the mirrors. Okay, so once we're done with that, uh, we're done with the front engine section. Okay, so now we're going to continue on with our second part. Okay, all right, come on over for the driver's side. Here, right here, come. The mirror, clean, not cracked. Mirror bracket, bolt tight, not bent, or missing parts. Okay, and then I'm just going to finish reading off and then we'll just go individual item. Fuel tank, bolt tight, cap is tight, and no diesel leaks. DEF, bolt tight, cap is tight, and no DEF leak. Okay, no diesel leak and then no DEF leak, all right? And then battery, connections are tight, no corrosions, all electrical cables and lines are secure and no, uh, are not cracked or worn, okay? And then frame, no cracks, holes, or broken wheels. Okay, so what, what are we talking about here? Mirror, again, we're looking at the mirror, and then we're looking at the bracket. So it's important that we have nice and secure, right? So make sure it's both tight and secure here, all right? And then we look at the fuel tank. So fuel tank is here, fuel cap is here, okay? And then diesel, and then diesel cap. As you notice, it's already held a DEF right here, so you can't mess it, all right? Okay, so again, doing that, and that's that. So now, next one. Then the battery, that's your battery box, okay? Battery box, and then we talk about a frame. Frame, we're looking at here. So we wanna make sure, examine the frame. As you notice, the frame is like your backbone of your body, right? So we gotta make sure that it's well secured, not dented, not any form, okay? So no crack, hole, or broken wheels, all right? Okay, so that's it. That's pretty much it for the driver's side. All right, the rear of the tractor. So here we're going to go to the back. All right, the tractor itself, but we got a rear portion of it right here, right? So we want to make sure we talk about that. Okay, all right, here. Now, here, then we look at the air. We got a turn signal and the emergency also brake, right? 
color is red, clean, not broken or missing, right? Backup lights, color is clear, clean, not broken or missing. Reflectors, it is if it's present. If we have the re reflector, then we say red and white color, clean, not broken or missing. Okay, so what are we looking at? Come on over. So basically we're looking at here. This is the uh, this is the turn signal, right? Left turn, right turn signal, right? It also is for emergency, so it will be flashing, right? For emergency as well. As well as when you press brake, then the brake light comes on, okay? So all those are in the same one, okay? So that's for this one. And then you got a backup light. This will be the backup light. The, the white one usually that will be the backup light. It will give you the clear indication that you're backing up the, the truck, right? And then reflectors for this truck, then it's here. All right, so again, we're gonna make sure it's, um, uh, it's present, uh, red and white in color, clean, not broken or missing, and that's it. Okay, that's all we need to say on this one, all right? Okay, after here, then we'll look, uh, look, come back over here. Now we're gonna go and talk about a coupling system. Let's go. Now we're gonna talk about a coupling system, okay? So here, coupling system we're gonna talk about here. All right, red for emergency, blue for service okay so when we talk about this side we also have to talk about this side as well okay make sure it's properly mounted right and secured so here red is emergency blue is service connectors bolt, uh, both bolted tight from tractor to trailer seated sealed no damage and secure all right and then glad hand secure to the connector not not cut, crack, or worn. No air leaks. Rubber seal is not worn or broken. Air hoses are not tangled, crimped, pinched, or on the ground. All right? Okay, so what are we talking about here? First, the connectors. So what are we looking at? Look on this side. If we bring it out, again, during the exam, you don't have to take it out, okay? So. I'm just showing you because uh, so this way you got more visual that what are you physically looking at, okay? So for this side, this side would be the connector, right? This would be your connector side. And then this side, this is your glad hand, all right? So again, same thing on this side, you got a connector, right? And then this is for the connection itself, right? Connectors, right? So again, glad hand. So basically, what we're looking at the rubber itself. As you notice, this fairly new so this is in good condition right but look on this side here you can see a little bit just a little bit you see how it gets uh, worn out a little bit right so that's what we need to be uh, cautioned for if it's there, if there's leak possibility we have to change the rubber and those are common items that we change all the time all right so you basically go on the top make sure it's level and then you come all the way down Okay, make sure it's level. There we go. All right. Again, what are we what are we checking also? We we'll make sure the line is free, not tangled like this together. If it's tangled like this together, when you turn, possibility it will get stretched out or pulled out. Right. So we got to make sure that they are not tangled. Okay. So we should like separate them out together. Okay. From from each other. Right. So again, that's for the airline. Now electrical line. This is your electrical line here. Electrical line to this side, all right? So what are we looking at, electrical line? Connectors, bolt tight, no damage, no cut, cracked, or worn. No show wires, no show wires, supplies, supply power to the trailer, all right? Again, connector, bolt tight, no damage, no cut, cracked, or worn no show wires supply power to the trailer okay electrical line is not tangled crimped pinched or on the ground okay again connectors at the other line we're going to make sure that the line itself is secure make sure there's no expose of the wire itself or it's been uh, opened up so we're going to check for those okay we got to make sure on both sides it's all bolted tight right Make sure this side here, you see here, the make sure it's latch on and it's completely so that it doesn't fall out, okay? 
All right, so that's what we're looking at there. All right, now next one. Fifth wheel skip plate. It is security mounted to the fifth wheel platform. Bolted tight, no cracks or broken. Property greased, okay? All right, so what are we talking about here? So fifth wheel pl uh, skip plate, well, well, let me uh, finish reading and then we'll go through it, okay? Kingpin, apron, and gap. So kingpin, bolt tight, not bent, damaged, or worn, properly greased. Apron, not bent, cracked, or broken, no light or gap between apron and fifth wheel. Fifth wheel gap. Locking jaw is secure around kingpin. Okay, so what are we talking about here? Fifth wheel skip plate. Here, we're gonna come on this side so you can see more clearly. So as you can see, so, uh, cause inside and you can't see it, right? We're talking about a uh, fifth wheel skip plate, which is the top surface of the fifth wheel. Fifth wheel means, so we're talking, we're talking about a whole unit, right? Fifth wheel skip plate. Now the kingpin then, kingpin basically comes down like this and it goes in and it locks around it, okay? So how does that work? You come on, come on this side, we're gonna look at this side. Here. That's your kingpin. This is your kingpin, okay? So as you can see, it's just a stud, right? And you can see there's a groove goes in here. So this is where the locking jaw goes around it. So you gotta make sure that it locks around here and make sure it's secure. So especially when you pull out. And this is your apron up here, apron, okay? That's these components. So here, so you got a kingpin, bow tight, not bent, damaged, or worn, properly greased. All right, apron, not bent, cracked, or broken. No light or gap between apron and fifth wheel. Fifth wheel gap. Locking jaw is secure around kingpin. Okay, again, all right, uh, so if we look at, come over here and take a look. Come on, take a look at this. As you can see, the gap we're talking about is here. Make sure there's no gap in between, okay? If, it, if there's gap, possibility is because of your landing gear you put it all the way down and you had it too far up. That's why probably uh, will cause it to have the gap in between. Okay, all right, next one. So now, locking and safety device, okay? Locking and safety device. Release arm, check release arm in the engaged position. Move my tractor forward slowly to get slight tuck and to ensure trailer is fully attached to the tractor. Safety latch, lock in place. Fifth wheel locking pin, bow tight, pins are fully engaged. Okay, and that's it. So I, yeah, we, uh, basically, I'm gonna talk about these three right now. Release arm, take a look here. For this truck, release arm, this is your release arm here. All right, that's your release arm, okay? So before we drive out, before we drive out, we gotta make sure, before we take the trailer, move, go somewhere, we gotta make sure that it's pushed in, fully locked, so that the kingpin is fully locked into, into place, so that it will not come out, come apart, okay? Because if you, if you don't check it, and then you just drive off, the, tra the uh, trailer and tractor falls apart, and bam, major problem, okay? All right, so got to make sure that we check that. And then safety latch. Safety latch then we're talking about here. That's up here, all right? So we just point it up here and it will be fine, okay? Now, fifth wheel locking pin. So fifth wheel locking pin, now what we're talking about for the fifth wheel locking pin is this. Here, I'm gonna come on this side. So I'll give you an example, okay? The fifth wheel locking pin for the, because uh, the, our truck is a small size, right? So only have the first axle and second axle. For the large one, the larger truck or standard truck, they will have a third axle in between. So another axle, additional axle, three axles on it. So with the three axle then, the fifth wheel will move. It will move, sliding, okay? So which means, this is a stationary uh, fifth wheel locking, or fifth wheel. But the truck, most likely the one that you're gonna be working on, it will be sliding, it will move, okay? So uh, what it does is it goes like that. 
Okay, so we're locked on this to the side. All right. Okay, and I have that picture uh, in the material. So if for us, we call it fifth wheel locking pin. And uh, what is that? That's this one right here. We call it this one fifth wheel locking pin. Okay, and you can see it's secured. All right, that's the one right there. Okay, so that's the fifth wheel locking pin right there. All right. Okay, with that said, that's it for that part. Now then we come down to the trailer portion. All right, come on over. Trailer portion here. So we start from the top light right there, all right? Right here, light, top light. Bolt tight, not cracked or broken. None missing, amber in color. Reflectors, if it's present, then bolt tight, not broken or cracked, all right? So, and then on the side, the same thing. Again, all we, we focus is on the light and the reflector, you notice? Light, bolt tight, not cracked, no cracks, no, uh, not, no missing, turns on and off. Reflector, red and white color, clean, not broken or missing. Frame, no cracks, no dents, no illegal weld. Okay, now again, we look down on the top, top has the light, no reflector on this side. Okay, but we look on this side. As you can see, we have the reflector on this side. So we can talk about this reflector here. Okay, so and then on this side, regarding to uh, reflector, then on the side wall, this is the reflector, right? On the side, reflector, it's about 50%. We need to have 50% coverage. Go on, go, goes along the side here. And we check on the top, there's no lights on the top for the side. And we don't want to talk about that, okay? Now, then the lastly, last portion will be on this side, and it will be on the landing gear and clearance, okay? Landing gear, fully raised, no missing parts. Crank candle, secure. Support frame and landing pad, not damaged, okay? Clearance, check fifth wheel position. Tractor frame will not touch landing gear during turns. Okay, what are we talking about here? First part, landing gear. We're not talking about this pair, pretty much we're talking about the entire assembly itself. Okay, and we're gonna make sure that it's fully raised. Okay, and then landing gear. Crank handle, this will be your crank handle. Okay, so make sure it's secure, right? Secure means what? It should be put back into position, right? Make sure it's secure, right? And then what else? Support frame and landing pad. Okay, support frame we're talking about here. As you can see, the whole entire assembly, right? The whole entire assembly, how it's connected all together. You see that? That's the support frame, okay? And landing pad, then we're talking about this, the landing pad, the foot itself, yeah? Okay, now, uh, and that's it. That's all we need to talk about, really, basically on this part, all right? Okay, now, lastly, Clearance, right? What do they mean by clearance? Here. As you can see, this is a short trailer. It's a very short trailer. So basically, it's built for dual axle. That's the first axle, second axle, and then the rear, that'll be your third axle. Those are basically for a shorter trailers, okay? Now, if you're using a longer trailer, uh, I mean a tractor, like a three axle tra uh, tractor with a three axle on it, how are you going to turn? You can't turn because this one is too tight. It's too tight and it's going to mess up the landing gear when you turn it. Okay, so that's why they're talking about the clearance between here. So you got to make sure that you have sufficient clearance. All right, okay, let's go. Okay, so final part the rear part of our trailer okay the rear part of our trailer then here come on over all right top light bolt tight not cracked or broken none missing red in color turn signal left and right bolt tight no cracks no missing turns on and off red in color emergency light four-way flash both side lights bolt tight no cracks, turns on and off, red in color. 
reflector. If it is present, then red and white color, clean, not broken or missing. All right, so what are we talking about here? Top light. So we're talking about the top light here, all right? So next one, turn signal, of course. We're talking about these turn signal here, all right? So you're pointing to that. And then emergency light. Turn emergency light, emergency light. Then you're looking at that. Or the four-way flash, right? Emergency light or um, um, and reflectors. Then yeah, we're talking about these. So we're looking at that, okay? So as you can see, this is a little bit chewed up on this one. Then that's what we need to tell them. If it's something like this, anything that is not good, that is not right, uh, then you have to tell them that I will notify our school to make sure they fix it. Okay? And that's it. All right? So uh, going forward, make sure you study. Once we're done on this side, we come on this side. We will be checking on this side the same way. As you notice on this trailer, there's door, right? But uh, for our materials going forward, we don't, really have, we don't have to mention about the door either. So we just have to make sure that we uh, cover, that we're checking the both sides all around. And this basically is that, okay? And thank you for watching. If you have anything else you need, let me know. 扫我的个人联络二维码